So we've been working with local land services to implement some bush regeneration and revegetation project on Wulgulga Creek. It's an important project because in the wake of the 2019 bushfires there was a lot of areas that were burnt and this has become a bit of a refuge area for, for lowland subtropical rainforest. The on-ground works has been a combination of, of bush regeneration work including weed control. We've been able to plant 150 rainforest trees along the riparian zone and also some, installing some koi logs to, to help with some landslips and erosion. We've been here for 40 years. So what you've wandered through today and you see is actually uh, 40 years of uh, regeneration. Some of it planting, but a lot of it is natural regeneration. We've lost so much natural vegetation and so many plant communities and habitat for a fauna that any little patch that we can preserve is so important to the wider picture. Along the edges of the creek, it's a significant community of uh, remnant rainforest. It's a really fantastic opportunity that local land services have given to us. This area here in the hinterland behind Coffs Harbour and Woolgooga is under extreme amounts of pressure. There's increasing urbanisation and there's some really intensive horticulture going on. It's really critical where we can get private land conservation, where we can get some really good enthusiastic landholders. North Coast Local Land Services, we have a role in helping landholders recover from disasters. We're working with impacted landholders after the fires and floods and drought and other disasters with funding to try and help them maintain and improve the biodiversity and ecological processes. The landholder here that, that we've been working with, we provided some funding for some revegetation. So we did about 3,000 species of uh, plantings along here. We've provided funding for some fencing of about two kilometres. The grant allowed us to remove the old fencing that in many cases was right up to the water's edge and bring that back by an average of 25 metres off the high bank. The idea of restoring the ecological balance along the river was to enhance the farm's value as well. If we've got a functioning ecosystem here on the river, it will support the productive side of the farm. Some of the better results we've had here are just through regeneration, just by fencing off areas, taking livestock out of that, and with some weed control, we've had some great positive results for rainforest restoration. Having a really vibrant and biodiverse and wide riparian zone has such a huge flow on effect for the, the benefits of water quality, but also habitat preservation and habitat creation. This area is actually a prime location for stocking eastern freshwater cod, part of the recovery project for that species. And the recovery is very much dependent on the quality of the habitat, which enables them to breed and be a self-sustaining population. We've had some big floods through this part of the world, not as big as uh, up north. But you can really see that once the forest grows up and it gets resilience, it can survive those floods really easily and they'll be there for a long time now.